All right, keep that applause going. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for your host for the evening and your MC, Mr. Rob B. Found. Told them you were living downtown. Driving all the old men crazy. Let's hear it for Bill, everyone. Yeah, Bill. Oh, my God. He's talking about flying first class. That one went over my head. I've only ever flown Spirit Airlines. <laughs> Spirit Airlines is weird. I was on a Spirit flight and uh, there was like a cabin air pressure leak. Can of whippets fell out of the overhead manifold. <laughs> I looked at the stewardess. I was like, what the hell is this? She was like, it won't save your life, but it'll make you about as concerned for it as Spirit Airlines is. <laughs> anyway, my name's Rob. A little bit about me. I grew up out in the sticks in Oklahoma. If you can't tell by the fact that my clothes are older than I am. Uh, Shout out to my uncle for getting his dry cleaning done right before he died. That was convenient. Right? I'd like to call it a gift from the universe, but that would mean my uncle died because I forgot to do my laundry, so I prefer to call it a coincidence. But yeah, a lot of driving where I grew up. It was like 30 minutes just to get to Walmart, which is weird to think about here because here you forget to clean your toilet for a week. You open it up, there's a neighborhood market in there. You know? Yeah. I don't know, man. But yeah, a lot of driving where I grew up. There's a lot of like, you see a lot of weird highway signs out there too. I was driving through my hometown the other day. I saw this sign, it was an advertisement for a church event. And it said, everyone come out to the Up With Jesus Crusade. And I was like, I don't know about crusade as a marketing term, that's kind of crazy. <laughs> Guess there's not a lot of history buffs at that church, you know? <laughs> You can't call something a crusade and then say, everyone welcome. That just <laughs> sounds like an ambush. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Also, up with Jesus. Pretty sure that's what the Romans said. <laughs> that's tagline you want to be stealing, you know? Mm -hmm. Up with Jesus. What do they even mean by that? He's already at the right hand of God. He's in upper management, for Christ's sake. Maybe we should work on gigs for some other people before we worry about further upward mobility for Jesus. Like Mary, for instance. You know, I mean, thankfully the Catholic Church gives her some part-time work, but I don't think that's paying the bills. She carried him around for nine months. You know, gave birth to him, virgin birth. Talk about a camel through the eye of a needle. You know? It's crazy. You know. I've kind of been having a tough time lately. Got out of a long-term relationship. I had to get my own place. Spent so much money on the new place that I didn't have money left for stuff to put in it. You know, so I was just in an empty apartment. My friends are calling me, they're like, Rob, you gotta get out of the house. Listen, why don't you go camping with us? It's like, that's what I'm doing in the house. <laughs> I don't think that's the cure to my ailments. I, don't know. I was sleeping on an air mattress for months. I don't know if you've ever had to sleep on an air mattress like long term, but it kind of changes you, you know? <laughs> Makes you paranoid. Like a girl comes over, suddenly you turn into a TSA agent. Yeah, you're like, ma'am, I'm gonna need you to remove any keys, earrings, belt buckles. Because when you sleep on an air mattress, if there's one thing you can't afford, it's another air mattress. Yeah. Like I can barely afford to keep paying these girls to come over. Talk about inflation. It's an inflation deflation joke. I don't know. Anyway, are you all ready for your, uh, for your feature act of the night? Yeah. You've seen her on the CW. You know her and love her. Please give a warm welcome for the very funny Megan King. <laughs> Give it up for Robbie, you guys. Yeah. 